Hey, what's going on guys? Javier Valbar here for Inkscape Digital. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to create a 3D scene out of a picture using the hit foam projector effect. My previous video was also on camera projection, but that was for erasing and objecting your scene. You can check that out in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started here. I have my composite shot created and first thing I'm going to do is import the picture that I'll be using. It's a picture of a hallway that I just grabbed off the internet. It's pretty simple, four planes and a background. Let's go ahead and drag it into the timeline here, and first thing I'm going to do is resize it so that it fits entirely in my frame. Next thing I'm going to do is make sure it's centered in my frame, so I'm going to make it 3D for a minute, and I'm going to match up the middle of the picture with the crosshairs here. It cuts off a little bit at the top, that's okay, I'm just going to resize it a bit. Centering your picture makes it easier for you to create your planes when it's time to do that. Okay, I'm going to turn it back to 2D and delete the camera. Alright, so we've got our picture set up. Let's go ahead and start creating our planes that we'll project the picture onto. I'm going to go to New Layer and hit Plane, and we'll call this one Left Wall. I'll leave it gray, and I'm going to drag the grid effect onto it. This makes it easier to line it up against the wall. I'll make the plane 3D and go into the Transform Properties and change the Y rotation to 90. Then I'll use the Z handle here and push it to the left until it matches my wall as best I can. I'm going to use this line here and this line here to match up with the wall. And once that's done, I'll grab this scale anchor and drag it until it reaches the end of the hallway. The plane doesn't have to match exactly, but the more accurate you are when you create your planes, the better the effect will come out. So now this left wall is done, I'll hit right click and duplicate and name the first one right wall. Then under its transform properties, I'll go into the position and just remove the negative sign. This flips it to the other side and it should almost match up, I'll just have to resize it a little bit. Alright, left and right wall have been created, let's go ahead and do the ceiling or the floor, whichever you prefer. I'll do the same thing that I did for the left and right, make it 3D and add the grid effect. But under the transform properties, I'll change the X instead of the Y to 90. Then I'll push it down in space until it matches my floor. Okay, floor has been created and I'll go ahead and duplicate that. Name this top one ceiling and again remove the negative sign from the position. So we've got four walls created here and what I'm going to do is go into perspective mode and make sure that there's no breaks between the planes. So what I'm looking for is any space where the planes don't connect, for example right here. This left wall here just needs to be a little bit bigger so that it cuts into the bottom plane. Okay, looks good. And the last plane we're going to create is the back wall there where the door is. I don't need to add a grid effect onto this. I'll just make it 3D and push it back in Z space until it's in the right position. I can go into perspective mode here and go to the end so that I can accurately position it. Okay, now go ahead and remove the grid effect on all of your planes. If you see any black parts on your video, that means you have a break. So for example, if I remove this like that and turn off the hallway picture, you can see that there's a blank space where the planes don't connect. So you're going to want to fill that in by moving one of the planes until it covers it. Okay, now we're almost ready to project. First thing we're going to do is drag our camera to the bottom here and rename it Static. Then I'll go to New Layer and create a new camera. And now this camera becomes the active one. Go ahead and drag the projector effect onto one of your planes. I'll just do on the back wall here. Set the projection from to the hallway picture and the camera to the static. Then copy this effect and paste it onto your other four walls. And there you go, you got yourself a fully 3D scene. To look at it, you can use the orbit tool, or the top two handles here at the right. So for example, I can use my camera, I can keyframe the position, move forward in time and scoot forward a little bit. Come over here to add a new grade, and I'll add the cine style effect onto it. Add a little bit of shake and now you've got yourself a walking down the hallway effect. The projection does break the further you go, but for the most part at the beginning it looks pretty realistic. You can also add lights into the middle of your scene and it'll affect the way the planes look. Just put it below the camera and the grade. But that's really all there is to camera projection, and again, the amount of effort you put into setting up the planes directly affects the quality of the final product. That's all for today, if you enjoyed this tutorial leave a like or a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already for more tutorials on HitFilm 3 Pro coming soon, and follow on Facebook and Twitter to stay updated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.